in this lesson you can learn how to design this beautiful six steps infographic in powerpoint keys that i'm using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background i'm going to give it some different color and uh, go to shapes and uh, take this hollow shape by shape by holding shift alt and drag it okay align center align middle and i'm going to take a rectangle yes and drag the rectangle like this vertically and uh, align center align middle Control D to duplicate it again align center align middle by holding alt and press the right arrow key four times Yes, Control D to duplicate it again press the right arrow key four times and uh, select uh, all these rectangles and uh, Shape outline make it no outline and control D to duplicate it and control G to group it and place it here, put it here at, at the side for later use. Select all these and go to merge shape fragment. And let me zoom it to select some areas by holding shift. And select this one, this one and the last one control and D, 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 delete. Yes. Now we got six shapes now i'm uh, placing uh, these rectangles over uh, this these shapes yes like this and i'm going to give it some shadow effect this will be okay transparency will be 65 or size 102 and uh, blur i think so it's okay yes i'm going to give it some gray color yes select these shapes one by one and i'm going to give it some gradient color and through the eyedropper i will pick this color one by one and recent color more color to make it little by bit light to the gradient will become visible okay select through the eyedropper select the eyedropper through the yes this one and recent color and go to more color and make it little bit light and uh, the gradient uh, will become visible likewise all these six shapes yes make it little bit light okay select this one gradient fill select this top and uh, give it the this one color through the eyedropper recent color, color more color and make it little bit light to the gradient uh, will become visible this is a very complex design so it will take a little bit time I am also using some keys during the design and uh, you can see at the below bar you can follow these keys and through these keys you can uh, finish your design in a very little time in a very short time let me take this all shape and uh, this all shape and uh, by holding shift alt and drag align center align middle now i'm going to give it some gradient and to this stop i am going to give it a gray color and a white color to the next stop direction from top to down it's okay let me give it uh, the its stroke also a gradient remember that uh, the stroke gradient uh, will be inverse to the fill gradient and give it this top white color and uh, let me the stroke become two whole one over two we'll give it some shadow effect and the transparency will be about 75 1026 blur okay go to insert and uh, 
take this shape and uh, no, sorry take this anchor point and drag it I'm going to fix it let me fix this uh, shape yes and uh, pick this and uh, put this shape here Control D to duplicate it and uh, rotate uh, flip horizontally on the inverse side put the on the inverse side Control D to duplicate it and uh, I am going to rotate through the this handle okay and uh, put it here Control D to duplicate it and flip horizontally and place it here. Control D to duplicate it, flip vertically and place it here. Over uh, this shape, Control D to duplicate it and flip horizontally and place it here at the yes. Select this one, Control Shift C and Control Shift V to transfer. Uh, the gradient of this colors according to the shape give these colors control shift c and select control shift v As likewise control shift c and select control shift v sorry likewise control shift c and control shift v okay select all these shapes and I'm going to give it some shadow effects. This will be okay. Transparency will be around about 74, 75 and 102. And I think so. It's okay. Bring to the front. Select this all shape and bring to the front. Okay select this shape that curve from two sides two opposite sides curve from two opposite sides and drag it uh, horizontally like this and uh, i'm going to place it here control shift c and give control shift v to transfer the effect and gradient of this shape to the another shape and uh, I'm going to place it here over it and a uh, little bit smaller from the left side and give it uh, the same color as the center all shape. I have some written text to bring these written text control C and uh, control V to bring to the slide and I'm going to put uh, this text here uh, over this shape and uh, give it uh, some color yes this one let me select all these all these two shapes and control D to duplicate it place it here control D to duplicate it and uh, place it here let me also align this one this these shapes select control D to duplicate it and uh, place it here let me delete the text and uh, make uh, go to rotate and flip horizontal i'm going to make it according to the inverse shape yes select and uh, i'm going to put it in a row with the first shape select this text control D to duplicate it and uh, put it here over the shape number fourth and uh, select all oh sorry select all control D to duplicate it and place it here likewise control D to duplicate it and place it here select oh sorry select this one control shift c and control shift v to transfer the gradient of this color control shift c 
and control shift V to transfer the gradient up this according to this color yes likewise this one and uh, control shift C and control shift V okay I am going to put this text in the center over the of the old shape and uh, Montesirat yes and se select let me make it its size to 20 the font size and uh, place it here at uh, the top I think so we will uh, put an icon uh, you can also put your logo here at the center with this text and let me make uh, the upper design text light yes and enter hit the enter yes it's okay i am going to bring some icons i need six i i think so seven icons business icon put i'm selecting this one and this one this one okay five and six number six this one and let me company icon i think so to pick the company icon this one yes and insert and bring it to the slide by holding shift alt and make it a little bit smaller i'm going to put it here in the side and uh, make it a little bit smaller group ungroup and uh, i'm going to and control g to group it and i'm going to make these icon that uh, it will give a premium look give it some shadow effect and uh, it will looks a bulged yes select the next icon and i'm going to place it here this one i think so this one will go here and uh, group ungroup to convert the shape and control g to group it select this one i think control shift c and control shift v oh sorry this is a group icon so it doesn't uh, transfer the effect so i'm going to make it manually yes and give it some shadow effect these are all in a group so it uh, uh, the effect doesn't effects are do not transfer to the other shape so i am going to make it uh, manually control g to group it and uh, white and give it some shadow effect and uh, the size will be 102 and uh, it's okay group ungroup and control g to group it you can also make uh, these icons by grouping ungrouping and also it convert these uh, icons to a shape uh, with the upper bar from the upper bar uh, here at the corner at the left top corner and uh, also by clicking uh, right mouse button and uh, go to group and ungroup and uh, it will convert to the shape let me put these icon one by one then the company icon goes to the center and make it a little bit bigger in size and i'm going to place it here group and ungroup yes and control g to group it again and uh, fill white and give it some shadow effect and it will give a premium look it will give a premium look yes 
and thank you for watching subscribe my channel please and hit the bell icon thank you